Hey guys, here is a quick video of basic telemetry operation with the Futaba 14SG transmitter and receiver setup. For the demonstration we've got the transmitter and I have assembled the receiver receiver battery pack, a collection of um, older servos I happen to have, standard servos, and you see there the uh, G-Force 1300 3 cell battery pack on the left side of the tray, plugged into the external voltage sensor that's available from Futaba. This is the sensor that plugs in to the base of the receiver, the white connector that you see there. I have made an XT60 connector at this end just to give me some portability in terms of using this sensor with um, multiple airplane setups. The battery is plugged into a parallel connector here so it can read the output voltage directly just as if we were plugged into a motor downstream here powering uh, an electric powered airplane. So let's turn the transmitter on and we've got a on off switch here for the receiver. Receiver is flashing red. I don't know if you can see that, but it's waiting for us to select the model that we wish to use. In this case it's going into a Yak 54 with a different set of servos of course, but now we're linked. And the receiver is flashing green. And I'll reach across here and perhaps you can see that the servos are moving. With all the controls. So we're linked up and operating. Let's go now to the telemetry page. So we can see directly I'm going to adjust the height of this a little bit so we don't get glare on the screen. I have set up the transmitter with telemetry as my user screen, on my user screen. Let's go to it here and we'll scroll over to it. And there we see the telemetry screen brought up. And the um, Telemetry is showing, as we speak here, the receiver battery at 6.4 volts and the NICAD pack, I'm sorry, the uh, lithium polymer pack, 3 cell, at 11.6 volt. We have no other sensors installed at this point, um, so all other readings on telemetry will be, will be uh, just dashed lines. I have audio set up on the telemetry system as well and we'll battery six point listen to it here. Four volt six point four six point four six point four six point four that external battery eleven point six volt eleven point six eleven point six 
So you heard uh, the synthesized voice readout for those two functions. You'll notice they were set up on switch D. They were set up on switch D. And to show uh, that setup, let's look at the receiver battery screen. Page 1 of 2 is showing here. It's showing 6.4 volts. Um, I've got alerts set up at other voltages. Let's scroll over to the switching for the voice activation. Notice that it's activated here. On switch D, the choices are inhibited and activated. We've got it activated. We've got it set at switch D. Let's go back there. Notice, here we go and from the hardware select page. Switch D is highlighted. And if we scroll around from switch D to the on off icon, we're set at off with the switch down, on with the switch in the middle position. And for this particular readout, off again with the switch on the uppermost position. Going back. Let's look at external voltage. You can see there the 11.6 volt readout. I haven't set up the alerts yet, but they're easy to do. Speech again is on switch D. And if we scroll to the on off, let's go the other way, on off icon, this external voltage readout is set up to be on only on the uppermost position. Battery 6.4 volt. External battery 11.6 volt. 11.6 External battery 11.6 volt. Battery 6. If I come back to the middle position, as you saw there, that was what we had set for the um, receiver battery. So there you see the basic operation of simple telemetry. as a part of Futaba's feedback system for voice activation. You can run an external speaker as I have done here. It also works well with an earpiece from a smartphone. I've used an earpiece with an iPhone, uh, just a single earpiece. And that works very well also to give these readouts in the in the air and of course you can set up vibratory alerts uh, on the transmitter itself to alert you to low voltage situations if you uh, care not to have the voice uh, in your ear as you're flying or if you want to use voice for other readouts say from a GPS sensor. I'll go over setting up a GPS sensor in another video. Thanks for watching.